in the first 10 minutes of the game against the Illini. Paul Selk jumps it up. We're underway, and it's in the hands of Gabe Cups. Not rather than shooting the basketball, that's just a matter of confidence. Well, Hobbs got deep and a great recovery by Ware. Kick out to Baldwin, and he drills the triple. Penn State extending that defense off the make free throw, trying to pick up the pace. I think what they want to do is force Indiana to play really, really fast. And it worked for Galloway. An active hands to on the defensive end for Khalil Ware, who's coming off his 11th double-double of the season. The dump down to Ware. He brought it down and put it off the glass. No action between the fellow bigs. Ware the recipient there. Well, checked back in and Baldwin found him. He played so well in the first half on Wednesday. Had 10 early points. The lob. CJ Gunn just checked in and laid it in off the baseline. Penn State's one of five to start this game for beyond the arc. Purdue trying to go to work. Tough shot, offensive rebound, and Ware puts it in. He's been the best player on the floor in the early going. Tough pass. Whoa, what a pass, and it was tapped out. Three, three minutes of clock time away. That, that can't happen. That needs to be addressed. Galloway with the drive. Came off, and again, it's Ware right there, and Galloway is still down on the floor. You know, with all those reserves in there, where well, you got to make sure you really rely on where. They found Puck Johnson just off the bench, and he ties the game at 12. That was a big spot for Gabe Cups. He takes it all the way to the basket, coast to coast for the freshman. Leal, nice feed to Walker, who finished. Nice delivery as well. I mean, again, the conversation's been there yeah. all year, and at some point it starts to wear on the players. DeMarco Dunn drills it, and Penn State back in front. The ball found Renew again. He lost it, but Anthony Walker was right there. Takes it at Wahab, and a high level of difficulty. Man, that's four big points off the bench by Walker. He got a dunk earlier, and that's what you have to do. That, that's where Khalil Ware is noticeable by his absence. Minnesota has moved up into the top 75 of the net ranking, so the road win there is as well. Three quad one wins at the moment on the Iowa resume. And, and they can have a chance to double those opportunities. Don was waiting for it yeah. and drills it in rhythm. I'm going to try to make sure again with Kern. He's a really good defender, but I want to make sure number five, Renew, touches the ball. Galloway had his trip from behind. Dunn trying to beat the Hoosiers down the floor. And he does! Against the Hoosiers, and he's been on a strong push since. Yeah, 47% over the last six. He's got eight, and Baco was fouled by Hicks. They'll count it. Comes back to Renew with seven on the shot clock to the bucket, and he lays it over the front of the rim. You only have to go another 15, 16 seconds here. We need you out there. Finds Galloway, curls into the lane. What a lay-in! And it's a three-point game. Really good response by Indiana. This was a double-digit lead for the Nittany Lions not that long ago. And attacking off the dribble, be it with the bigs or, or point guard play, has paid dividends. And, and on the year, Indiana's at 65%, but today better than that. They go right back to the same guy, and he floats it over the rim to make it a three-point game. For 15 minutes in the first half with free throw, uh, with foul trouble, nice job by Leal recovering on the defensive end. That's a wonderful job by Leal of understanding the scouting report and taking that away. They couldn't work it to him. Galloway off the dribble, high off the Woo! glass, and Trey Galloway's got 10. That was a difficult shot. His momentum was taking him completely toward the baseline. From our angle, it looked like he was going to have a very difficult time to get the proper angle off the window. He was able to do that. Down to five. Ace Baldwin's got it in his hands. Takes the toss into the lane. Ware back on the floor. And Wahab, oh, they're going to call that goaltending. So it was a 12-point lead was their largest. C.J. Gunn does hit a three, so that's going to make the deficit single digits. But Penn State... Led the entire second half, and they follow up the win 